Shannon from Skip to My Life. I can't wait to show you these five incredible gift baskets you can put together for $10 or under. Let's go. If you like to live an upscale life on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. Christmas doesn't always have to be red and green, so this tropical fun basket was inspired by these adorable flamingo socks I found at Dollar Tree, as well as this flamingo wrapping paper. This would be the perfect gift basket for someone special in your life or even just a neighbor, a special friend who's maybe had a really hard year and who loves pink and glam. So I started by just cutting out a little slice of that flamingo paper, make sure the pattern goes horizontally, and then covering my little tin pail that I purchased at Dollar Tree with Mod Podge and then the paper. If you've been following Skip to My Life, you know that my husband and I are recent empty nesters and we're so excited. Both of our kids and their significant others are joining us for Christmas. I am creating this little pail with my future daughter-in-law in mind. She lives in Florida and I just thought that this was the funnest idea for a tropical Christmas. I covered the pail with some glitter and then I covered it with hairspray just to keep that glitter in place and I topped it off with some pink rickrack that I had in my craft stash. I hope this little project inspires you that you don't have to spend a lot on a gift to make it really special. I think most people this year would be so flattered to know that you thought of them and created something unique. If you've been watching my Christmas playlist, you'll see that I am loving the snow spray from Dollar Tree this year. I just added this final little snowy touch to my tropical pail, and next we're gonna start the fun of filling it. I wanted to make an adorable pink Christmas tree, and I wanted to use what I had on hand, so I just used this large poster board and cut it in the shape of a piece of pie, and I am in the mood for pie right now. It's almost Thanksgiving here. How about all of you? Are you making any special pies for Thanksgiving or Christmas? So you can see that I just rolled this into a cone shape, and then I taped and glue gunned it in place. And now I'm going to use those little trash can liner bags in the color pink. They come in several different colors, but when I saw those, I wasn't really thinking of them as trash bags. I was thinking of them as an adorable pink Christmas tree. Now I glue gunned these in place and I used just a tiny dot of the glue gun glue because it will melt through the bag if you use too much. If I were going to do this project again, I would use packing tape, clear packing tape and just cut it in little strips because I think I probably would have ended up with a little bit of a neater end product, but you all can learn from my lesson and not repeat my mistakes. I am so thrilled with the way this adorable tree turned out. Well, this little tree was cute as is, but you know me, I couldn't leave well enough alone. So I took my correction white out and just added a little bit of snow to the branches of my pink tree. And then I topped it off with some snowflake shaped bling and a little pom-pom on top. If you're having fun watching this video, please hit the like button and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. We have such a wonderful, fun community here. It's very supportive and I love all the great ideas that you all share in your comments. I promise I read every one. I'm showing you a little trick of the trade in making your gift basket look really professional and that is to add something in the bottom of the basket to give your items a bit of a lift. This way, everything you include in your basket can be seen 
by the person receiving it and it also makes it possible for you to use just a few less items than if you had to completely fill that whole basket. All the items that you see me putting in this basket were purchased at Dollar Tree, including these adorable hot pink magnets that I placed on the outside as little polka dots. My favorite item is this little diamond ring pin, and I thought this was so special for her since my son and my future daughter-in-law have just recently got engaged. So this is my Tropical Vibes gift basket. I hope you love it. We all have a pet lover in our lives and who wouldn't love to get this fun pet related gift basket? It includes a scarf for doggy and a scarf for pet owner as they walk the dog on that cold winter day along with a mug for a hot cup of hot cocoa, a little doggy dish, and some pet treats and doggy bags. These little sleigh buckets were so adorable from Dollar Tree this year, and I decided to glam it up a little bit with some more of those snowflake jewels. The easiest way to purchase the items I'm showing you if you decide to make a bulk group of baskets is to purchase them directly from the website. And I have included the links to many of the items I'm showing you here to make that just a little bit easier. So I took some pom-poms from two little keychains and made them into a tie to finish off this basket when we're all done. And now you see me filling the basket again. I put the lift in the bottom and surround it with tissue paper so no one can see that. Our kids are not the only ones coming to visit us. My grand dog, Kobe, is also coming and this little gift basket is with him in mind. I am thrilled to welcome him to our home as well. If you're getting some good ideas today I sure hope you'll click the like thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comment section which of these baskets you plan to make stay tuned because in just a minute my dog Franklin is gonna be modeling that scarf If you've been watching for a while, you know that Franklin's a little bit camera shy and he had an itch just as we started filming, but this scarf could not be any cuter on him. This next basket just may be the most favorite and least expensive of the five. It would be a wonderful housewarming gift or just for anyone that you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on but you want to make them feel very, very special. What really sets this gift off is these mini utensils from Dollar Tree. All these items were purchased at Dollar Tree and the brownie mix and chocolate chunks fit perfectly inside this really adorable box that they're featuring this year, as well as the microfiber kitchen cloth. And then I just added a little bit of tissue paper on top to keep those contents from raveling around. I purchased enough of these to make several to give out to neighbors, and I may even leave one for my mailman. I topped the box off with the red and green spoon and spatula as well as a glittery red ribbon and who would not love to receive this gift?
Dollar Tree has gone gnome crazy this year and there are, I would estimate, about 10 items throughout the store that feature really, really cute little prints of gnomes. So I'm gonna show you a few of those that I put together in this care package for a friend of mine who collects gnomes. Instead of using tissue paper to fill the gaps in this basket, I chose to use this little snowy ribbon that Dollar Tree is featuring this year. It comes in blue, white, red, and green. So if you're lucky enough to see this, make sure you snap some of it up. And then I added the Gnome for the Holidays Woodland sign along with some gnome socks, a gnome hot cup, some peppermint sticks, and some peppermint candies and straws. And of course, we have to include a gnome himself. If you think of a wonderful name for this cute little guy, make sure you leave it in the comments below. I just think he adds the finishing touch to this adorable care package. If you're wondering what this clear wrap I'm covering the baskets in is called, it's called Cello Wrap, and I have included a link to that on the Dollar Tree website in my comment section. I really wish that I had gone ahead and bought it in bulk because I cannot tell you how many extra trips I have had to make to Dollar Tree to purchase it. I found that one roll generally will cover two gift baskets if your gift baskets are a medium size like the ones I'm showing you. This little berry woodland ribbon I found at Family Dollar Store, and in case you didn't know, they are both owned by the same company, Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. Often you'll find the same merchandise. Sometimes Family Dollar will have a little bit more high end, so it pays to stop by the Family Dollar Store every once in a while and check out what they have. I don't know about you all, but I find that my guys are pretty hard to buy for. So I was pretty pleased with myself that I put together this little gift basket. I think they all will like. And I featured some of their favorite items. I think the favorite will be the 4D gummy blocks. They can build some little creations with them and then they can eat them. And the carabiners are always a crowd pleaser. I don't know what they do with them, but they always seem to love them. I started by taking a strip of the Buffalo check wrapping paper. I believe I purchased this at Tuesday morning, but you can find it also at Dollar Tree. And I lined the bottom outside of that little container with the paper so that you won't be able to see the lift that I'm placing inside. Next, I took this cute little Santa belt buckle bow and I decided to cut the tails off and make it look a little bit more like a bow tie on the outside of that box. The question of the day is, what is your family's favorite Christmas dessert? For us, it's usually anything related to pie, as I said earlier. So we are one pie-loving family. We usually have somehow about a pie per person, and I don't know how it ends up that way, but somehow they all get eaten. So share with me your very favorite Christmas dessert. And by the way, if you haven't already, check out these men's socks. They are so adorable and they come out with some brand new patterns that guys will just love. I think my husband's going to be getting the toast and eggs socks. And here are all five baskets put together. I had so much fun making this video for you all. 
And I want you to know that my best present of all is knowing each of you and getting to know you better this year. It's just made my year. So thank you. If you keep coming back or if you're new here, I really appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to comment below and let me know which gift basket was your favorite and subscribe so I can get to know you even better. Until next time, this is Shannon. It's Gift to My Life. Make it a great day.